Oh, oh, hi, oh, hi, Okay, yeah, that's good enough time. We're trying to do it. We're trying a different angle today. I guess it's not a different angle, a different. You know what I'm trying to say. <coughs> Excuse me. My mood was unintentionally altered just now because some vehicle was just so. I just didn't like the energy of the sound. <laughs> I really didn't. That's just how it hits me. Like, I don't like the energy of a lot of different sounds. But I love the energy of certain sounds. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, if this works out, um, I might start doing the videos like this. I like it. I like it more than I thought I would. But I also like the upright one, too. I think it's cute. I like it a lot. But I guess it really does matter on if this translates into the YouTube video. Like, I had problems with that. And I'm like, okay, so when you switch it this way, it goes this way and you can't like zoom in. I like having an up close and personal experience. Like it looks like it'll be perfectly fine, but I don't know. Um, yeah, I feel better now. I, it just, I had to take a minute. I definitely had to take a minute before I pushed the play button because I was just about to push it and I had to sit for like two minutes because like the sound was just like, it killed my whole vibe. I really truly don't like letting things like alter my feelings because as an empath, that's very easy for me to do. But um, that one definitely got me. Y'all look at my Bible. I had to tape it and praise the lord we had just bought tape and we were like there's gonna be a reason why we're gonna open this tape because we bought the tape for our art to be able to put it up um when we start doing that again like because we've been taking a hold on a lot of things because we've needed to work on our energy in general and we've been focusing more on singing but um i think he got wet and I, I'm sad. And I think it's because I talked about him. This wasn't today, though. This happened, like, two days ago. <laughs> but I'm glad that it that it got done. I thought, I'm glad we had tape to do so. I don't hate the Bible. I just don't like always having to read it. It's like a reminder of everything all the time. But I actually... I have mixed feelings about it. And they all do contradict each other, but they're all very valid feelings towards the Bible. I really do think it's sacred. Like, I believe it's sacred. I like, that's why I read it the way that I do. Like, every word for word. Because I like that. And words give you power. And so, I don't want to be half-assing my OP energy. Let's see. Hold on. My nose is just doing the most. I'm trying to hurry up. I know I always say that and then like proceeds to do things that have nothing to do with the video, but as long as we know the time management. So it turns out we did read three. Uh, three of them is like 15, 16, 17, but we titled it 16, 17, 18. And then we ended up reading an extra one to top it off. That indeed was an extra one. And when that happens, I try to like justify myself in like not reading an extra one like the next day, but it is three a day. It's not three a day got to make sure you read the three the next day. So we read in three today. <sighs> I'm tired. Praise the Lord. Let's get into it. Into it. Josiah was eight years old when he began to reign, and he reigned 30 and one years in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Jedidah. Jedidah? the daughter of Adadiah, Adaiah, what the heck, Adaiah, 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 
a dia. That's what we'll say. Of boss cat. <clears throat> I have rhythmic yawning. That's annoying. And he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord and walked in all the way of David his father and turned not aside to the right hand or to the left. And it came to pass in the 18th year of King Josiah that the king sent Japhan, Shaphan, the son of Azaliah, the son of Meshulam. I think there's one that's actually called Meshulam. Meshulam. Say his name like that. The scribe to the house of the Lord, saying, Go up to Hilkiah the high priest, that he may sum the silver which is brought into the house of the Lord, which the keepers of the door have gathered of the people, and let them deliver it into the hand of the doers of the work that have the oversight of the house of the Lord, and let them give it to the doers of the work which is in thine house of the Lord to repair the breaches or re to repair, that's not a tongue twister, to repair the breaches of the house unto carpenters and builders and masons, and to buy timber and hewn stone to repair the house. Howbeit there was no reckoning made with them of the money that was delivered into their hand because they dealt faithfully. And Hilkiah the high priest said unto Shaphan the scribe, I have found the book of the law in the house of the Lord. And Hilkiah gave the book to Shaphan, and he read it. And Shaphan the scribe came to the king and brought the king word again and said, Thy servants have gathered the money that was found in the house and have delivered it into the hand of them that do the work, that have the oversight of the house of the Lord. And Shaphan the scribe shewed the king, saying, Hilkiah the priest hath delivered me a book, and Shaphan read it before the Lord into the hand. And it came to pass, when the king had heard the words of the book of the law, that he rent his clothes. And the king commanded Hilkiah the priest and Ahikim, the son of Shaphan, and Akbar the son of Micaiah, and Shaphan the scribe, and Asahiah, a servant of the king, saying, Go ye inquire of the Lord for me, and for the people, and for all Judah, concerning the words of this book that is found. For great is the wrath of the Lord that is kindled against us, because our fathers have not hearkened unto the words of this book, to do according unto all that which is written concerning us. So Hilkiah the priest, and Ahikim, and Akbar, Akbor, and Shaphan and Asahiah oh my goodness. went unto Huldah the prophetess. We're starting that part over. So Hilkiah the priest and Ahikim and Akbar and Shaphan and Asahiah went in, went unto Huldah the prophetess, the wife of Shalom the son of Tikva, the son of Harhas, keeper of the wardrobe. Now she dwelt in Jerusalem in the college, and they communed with her. <sighs> and she said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Tell the man that sent you to me. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will bring evil upon this place and upon the inhabitants thereof. Even all the words of the book which the king of Judah hath read, because they have forsaken me and have burned incense unto other gods, that they might provoke me to anger with all the works of their hands. Therefore my wrath shall be kindled against this place and shall not be quenched. But to the king of Judah, which sent you to inquire of the Lord, thus shall ye say to him, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, as touching the words which thou hast heard, because thine heart was tender and thou hast humbled thyself before the Lord. When thou heardest what I spake against this place and against the inhabitants thereof, that they should become a desolation and a curse, and hast rent thy clothes and wept before me, I also have heard thee, saith the Lord. Behold, therefore, I will gather thee unto thy fathers, 
and thou shalt be gathered into thy grave in peace, and thine eyes shall not see all the evil which I will bring upon this place. And they brought the king word again. And the king sent, and they gathered unto him all the elders of Judah and of Jerusalem. And the king went up into the house of the Lord, and all the men of Judah and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem with him, and the priests and the prophets, and all the people, both small and great. And he read in their ears all the words of the book of the covenant, which was found in the house of the Lord. And the king stood by a pillar and made a covenant before the Lord to walk after the Lord and to keep his commandments and his steadfast and his testimonies and his statutes with all their heart and all their soul to perform the words of this covenant that were written in this book and all the people stood to the covenant and the king commanded Hilkiah the priest the high priest and the priests of the second order and the keepers of the door to bring forth out of the temple of the Lord all the vessels that were made for Baal and for the grove and for all the host of heaven and he burned them without Jerusalem in the fields of Kidron, and carried the ashes of them unto Bethel. And he put down the idolatrous priests whom the kings of Judah had ordained to burn incense in the high places in the cities of Judah and in the places round about Jerusalem, them also that burned incense unto Baal, to the sun and to the moon and to the planets and to all the host of heaven. And he brought out the grove from the house of the Lord without Jerusalem unto the brook Kidron and burned it at the brook Kidron and stamped it small to power, stamped it small to powder and cast, and then, 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 and cast the powder thereof unto, Lord have mercy, this, this is just a train wreck right now. A burp is happening. It's just not happening right now. Okay. Unto the brook Kidron and burned it at the brook Kidron and stamped it small to powder and cast the powder thereof upon the graves of the children of the people. Uh. Excuse me. And he break down the houses of the Sodomites that were by the house of the Lord. Uh. Excuse me where the women wove hangings for the grove. And he brought all the priests out of the cities of Judah and defiled the high places where the priests had burned incense from Geba to Beersheba and break down the high places of the gates that were in the entering in of the gate of Joshua, the governor of the city, which were on a man's left hand at the gate of the city. Nevertheless, the priests of the high places came not up to the altar of the Lord in Jerusalem, but they did eat of the unleavened bread among their brethren. And he defiled Topheth, which is in the valley of the children of Hinnom, that no man might make his son or his daughter to pass through the fire to Moloch. And he took away the horses that the kings of Judah had given to the son at the entering in of the house of the Lord by the chamber of Nathan Melech, Nathan Melech? Nathanmelech, the chamberlain, the chamberlain, which was in the suburbs and burnt the chariots of the sun with fire, and the altars that were on the top of the upper chamber of Ahaz, which the kings of Judah had made, and the altars which Manasseh had made in the two courts of the house of the Lord, did the king beat down and break them down from thence and cast the dust of them into the brook Kidron and the high places that were before Jerusalem and the high places that were before Jerusalem, which were on the right hand of the Mount of Corruption, which Solomon, the king of Israel, had builded for Ashtoreth, the abomination of the Zidonians and for the abomination of the Moabites, and for Milcom, the abomination of the children of Ammon, did the king defile. And he brake in pieces the images, and cut down the groves, and filled their places with the bones of men. 
Moreover, the altar that was at Bethel and the high place which Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, who made Israel to sin, had made both that altar and the high place he break down and burnt the high place and stamped it small to powder and burnt the grove. And as Josiah turned himself, he spied the sepulchres that were in the mount, that were there in the mount, and sent and took the bones out of the sepulchres and burnt them upon the altar and polluted it, according to the word of the Lord, which the man of God proclaimed, who proclaimed these words. Then he said, What title is that I see? And the men of the city told him, Is the sepulchre? It is the sepulchre of the man of God, which came from Judah and proclaimed these things that thou hast done against the altar of Bethel. And he said, Let him alone, let no man move his bones. So they let his bones alone when, with the bones of the prophet that came out of Samaria. And all the houses also of the high places that were in the cities of Samaria, which the kings of Israel had made to provoke the Lord to anger, Josiah took away and did to them according to all the acts that he had done in Bethel. And he slew all the priests of the high places that were there upon the altars and burned men's bones upon them and returned to Jerusalem. Hold on. I am cold. I took this off because we were walking fast. And we were hot. Okay, okay, okay. Nope, I'm not gonna walk right into that trap. We're doing what we're supposed to be doing. I'm gonna leave that there. Thank you, Lord. Self-respect starts when you tell the Lord that you are going to do what you promised to do and no more. Because then he will start giving you extra stuff to do. Because you're okay with it, right? It's a part of your lesson sometimes. But when you feel guided to do more, please do. But when you notice that it's a lesson, pay attention. He's part of it. <clears throat> God is good. He's some, he's some, he's very interesting. I feel like people really need to understand that. I'm not going to speak on that. We're trying to hurry up. We're trying to do something right here. But ask about it. And the king commanded all the people saying, keep the Passover unto the Lord your God as it is written in the book of this covenant. Surely there was not holding such a Passover from the days of the judges that judged Israel, nor in all the days of the kings of Israel, nor of the kings of Judah. But in the 18th year of King Josiah, wherein this Passover was holding to the Lord in Jerusalem, moreover the workers with familiar spirits and the wizards and the images and the idols and all the abominations that were spied in the land of Judah and in Jerusalem, did Josiah put away that he might perform the words of the law which were written in the book that Hilkiah the priest found in the house of the Lord? And like unto him, there was no king before him that turned to the Lord with all his heart and with all his soul and with all his might, according to all the law of Moses. Neither after him arose there any like him. Notwithstanding, the Lord turned not from the fierceness of his great wrath, wherewith his anger was kindled against Judah, because of all the provocations that Manasseh had provoked him withal. And the Lord said, I will remove Judah also out of my sight, as I have removed Israel, and will cast off this city, Jerusalem, which I have chosen, and the house of which I said my name shall be there. Now the rest of the acts of Josiah and all that he did are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Judah? In his days, Pharaoh Necho, Necho, sorry. I'm not sorry. I love that. There's not, there's not, 
y'all don't even know why I'm saying that. It's all uh, Japanese Neko cats meow. Every time I see a cat, I say Neko meow. It depends actually on what the soul is telling me of that name. But like, I love cats a lot. A, a, an unhealthy amount, I'm sure. But definitely not an unhealthy amount because I've seen, I've seen that. That's different. And also, they have to have personality because the lower your vibration, the lower your pet's vibration. Because I do like dogs too, but only high vibrational dogs. Same goes with people. It makes sense. Right. Uh, where are we at? And there we go. In his, no, did I say his name already? Okay, in his days, Pharaoh Necho, king of Egypt, went up against the king of Assyria to the river Euphrates, and King Josiah went against him, and he slew him at Megiddo when he had seen him. And his servants carried him in a, dead, in a chariot dead from Megiddo and brought him to Jerusalem and buried him in his own sepulcher. And the people of the land took Jehoiaz, the son of Josiah, and anointed him and made him king in his father's stead. Jehoiaz was twenty and three years old when he began to reign, and he reigned three months in Jerusalem. And his mother's name was Hamutal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his fathers had done. And Pharaoh Necho put him in bands at Riblah, in the land of Hamath, that he might not reign in Jerusalem, and put the land of and put the land to a tribute of an hundred talents of silver and a talent of gold. And Pharaoh Necho made Eliakim the son of Josiah king in the land of Josiah his father, and turned his name to Jehoiakim and took Jehoiaz away. And he came to Je to Egypt and died there to Jehegypt. And he came to Egypt and died there. And Jehoiakim gave the silver to, and the gold to Pharaoh. My tongue is saying things that don't even make sense right now. And Jehoiakim gave the silver and the gold to Pharaoh, but he taxed the land to give the money according to the commandment of Pharaoh. He exacted the silver and the gold of the people of the land of everyone according to his taxation to give it unto Pharaoh Necho. Jehoiakim was twenty and five years old when he began to reign and he reigned eleven years in Jerusalem and his mother's name was Zebudah the daughter of Pediah of Ruma, and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord according to all that his fathers had done. In his days Nebuchadnezzar king of Babylon came up and Jehoiakim became his servant three years. Then he turned and rebelled against him. And the Lord sent against him bands of the Chaldees, and bands of the Syrians, and bands of the Moabites, and bands of the children of Ammon, and sent them against Judah to destroy it according to the word of the Lord, which he spake by his servants the prophets. Surely at the commandment of the Lord came this upon Judah, <clears throat> came this upon Judah, to remove them out of his sight for the sins of Manasseh according to all that he did, and also for the innocent blood that he shed. For he filled Jerusalem with innocent blood, which the Lord would not pardon. Now the rest of the acts of Jehoiakim and all that he did, are they not written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Judah? So Jehoiakim slept with his fathers. And Jeho I thought I could get away with that. And then the name next to it is like, nah, you got to say it correctly or it'll sound like the same name. <laughs> so Jehoiakim slept with his fathers and Jehoiakim, his son, reigned in his stead. Sometimes I don't finish like the end of my words, like they get cut off. I don't know why it just feels that way sometimes. Like it just feels like it should be that way. I don't know. It don't make no sense to me. This poor Bible. <laughs> the other ones, the other ones went through more, I suppose. Not really, actually. But I think the first one that we had that kind of looked, I think it was exactly like this one, like the cover. 
My mom gave it to us. We went through some stuff. Excuse me. Where are we? So Jehoiakim slept with his fathers, and Jehoiakim, his son, reigned in his stead. And the king of Egypt came not again any more out of his land, land, out of his land, for the king of Babylon had taken from the river of Egypt unto the river Euphrates all that pertained to the king of Egypt. Jehoiakim was eighteen years old when he began to reign. And he reigned in Jerusalem three months, and his mother's name was Nehush, 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 yeah, Nehushta. There we go. I think that was the problem. Nehushta, the daughter of El Nathan. I always feel funny saying that because I have no idea what to do about it. El Nathan of Jerusalem. And he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that his father had done. At that time, the servants of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came up against Jerusalem, and the city was besieged. And Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came against the city, and his servants did besiege it. And Jehoiakim, the son of Judah, went out to the king of Babylon, he and his mother, and his servants, and his princes, and his officers. And the king of Babylon took him in the eighth year of his reign. And he carried out thence all the treasures of the house of the Lord and the treasures of the king's house and cut in, and cut in pieces all the vessels of gold which Solomon king of Israel had made in the temple of the Lord as the Lord had said. And he carried away all Jerusalem and all the princes and all the mighty men of valor, even 10,000 captives and all the craftsmen and smiths None remained, save the poorest sort of the people of the land. And he carried away Jehoiakim to Babylon, and the king's mother, and the king's wives, and his officers, and the mighty of the land. Those carried he into captivity from Jerusalem to Babylon. And all the men of might, even seven thousand, and craftsmen, and smiths a thousand, all that were strong and apt for war. Even then the king of Babylon brought captive to Babylon. And the king of Babylon made Matana, Mataniah, Mataniah, his father's brother, king in his stead and changed his name to Zedekiah. Zedekiah was 20 and one years old when he began to reign and he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Hamutal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. And he, that, and he did that which was evil in the sight of the Lord according to all that Jehoiakim had done. For through the anger of the Lord it came to pass in Jerusalem and Judah until he had cast them out from his presence, that Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon. Thank you, God. Let's just have a good day today, because that's all we really have to do. That's what we're going for. Today is a good day, and it makes me happy.
Alright. Uh, hope that everybody's having a good day today. I hope that everybody continues to have a good day today. <gasps> it's a spider! Bro, I don't know what to do about that. I might have to kill him. Hold on, let me see what I can do about this. I feel like that's a lazy fix. Please don't tell me that. I don't know if I feel like here right now, right now. Alright. Hold on. I'm gonna put my Pokemon back. Oh, well, that was the news. Thank you. I'm out of breath. Um, I just wanted to give y'all an update on said spider, because, you know, he was a part of the video. So, yeah, it was a, I think it was a daddy long legs. I'm not really good at under, uh, breeds, things, breeds. The only breed I know is medium short hair, domestic cat my cat that's the only and maybe a tabby and like choice breeds of dogs like german shepherd and an alaskan husky and an alaskan klikai not really good with breeds just in general though i'm gonna be real with that um but uh i think it might have been a daddy that owned legs i didn't want to kill it because i didn't know if like like, if it's a poisonous spider, chances are I don't really want to deal with that situation. I've never, I'm, I'd rather walk away from a situation where there's a spider if I can. Like, this spider had no reason to be killed because this is as much of his dwelling place as it is for me to be here right now. And for me to be in here and he be in here like, I don't, I've never seen a spider in here before. I saw a rat, though. I said, okay, I saw a mouse, because he's fairly small. And something jumped on the wall yesterday. I'm pretty sure it was a mouse. Either that or something got wings. But it wasn't flying in here, so praise the Lord. It can do what it's going to do over there. So, <laughs> but the spider was getting closer over here, and I was like, you know, like, I might have to kill you because if you trespass, I, I kind of have to do it. But in general, like bugs, insects of that nature, I try not to do any harm towards them, especially if like I can do something else. And it really would have been lazy for me to just kill him instead of trying to get him to like go outside instead. So what we did is we took our little bookmark and kind of like ushered him outside because he he was he was kind of putting up a little bit of a fight but I think he kind of realized that I wasn't trying to kill him but right now he's in a bush and uh praise the lord it worked out like he did a little web from my thing and stuff he was really trying not to like go with me but he was also he walked right into it <laughs> so he's alive and well and he might find something that he likes uh way better in that bush rather than in here because it is what it is 
Um, things that I will kill without hesitation. Flies. I don't believe that they are meant to be here. Um, that is a belief. Um, mosquitoes. I do not believe that they are meant to be here. It is a belief. Uh, gnats. Gnats are a different story, though. I feel like gnats is more like, if you just really choose not to bother me, I will not do anything about it. But, like, gnats are not just gnats. Gnats will, like, they they will try to eat you. They will try to eat you. And, like, my face be hurting after. Like, I can't. I, I, no. I've had enough of insects. Um, ants, I'll kill them, too, if I need to. But I choose not. I choose... I try not to, I choose not to. But like, you know, on the attack, if, if they're doing, if they're trespassing and I gave them several chances, cause I will give them chances. Like I'll flick them off and I know they're fine. Like I flick in a way where I know that I'm particularly not hurting them. Um, but like if they're choosing to continue to be a problem towards us, then I truly do have to do something about it. Cause if you get like one ant, we've had that happen to us too. Like we wake up and the ants are like, they found our food in our backpack and it wasn't even open. And they found, like there's so many stories I have um, from this whole journey alone, like straight up. Oh, uh, roaches. Uh, okay, the thing with roaches is that um, we had bugs in our house bed bugs will kill those too we don't want nothing to do with these things uh, we just feel like they don't exist like they're not supposed to be here we have that feeling but i also feel like um bugs in general like uh not not roaches because there's a difference between a roach and and like a bug like a i don't know how to explain it like a, a cockroach, there we go. A cockroach and, a, and just like a, a bug roach, like smaller. Those are a lot smaller. We had those. If it got past a certain size, I think I would have to have left the house. I did leave the house because of the bed bugs, but I had to come back and we fixed that problem. Stories on that as well. Um, but like, I feel like bugs, like actual bugs, like the, the smaller roaches, they are, I feel like they really have a lot of personality. I feel like they can see us. And I know that that sounds crazy, but that's okay. That's what we're here for. It, I feel like they're watching us. I feel like they know why they're there. They understand that they're, that they're there because this is not a vibrational place for people to be at right now. And so once, you start having a higher vibration, then you're able to understand why they're there. And so then they get smarter and that sucks. But that also means that like, um, you can leave a, live a lot more peacefully also while you're killing them and they know why. I think they were meant to be here for that reason and that's it. Um, those other ones, those other things that I chose to speak about, those are not really things that I feel like, I feel like flies like to play with you. I really feel like they like to play too much. Um, roaches are not, roaches, I don't, like cockroaches, I haven't, I don't really know how to explain that. But like if I'm outside and I see one, I'm not gonna kill it. I'm just gonna avoid the heck out of it. Um, but if it's in my house, it's gotta go. And I will scream. <laughs> I will scream. But yeah, one thing that I'm really glad that we left behind um, in our life is bugs. Even though we're out in nature, that's not the same concept. Yeah. But yeah, just wanted to let y'all know that the spider is safe. Everything is digital dust. That was redundant. Anyway, Janet.